Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to the channel. There's been two more paid mods added to the Creations tab on Skyrim in the last couple of weeks, and I think these two mods are going to be quite exciting. So let's just go to the Verified Creators page and take a look. Uh, so the first mod. Um, that's been added is Legendary Dungeons Nordic Secrets. Now this isn't the one that I'm going to be reviewing in this video, I'll do that next. But that um, I'm actually quite excited to play because uh, that has been made by TrainWiz. Now TrainWiz did the uh, Dwarven Delves mod um, that was released, I think that was in the first batch back in December um, and that was actually pretty good, added two new dungeons with hours and hours of content so the, yeah that, I actually really enjoyed that so I've got high hopes for this one uh, but, but we will review that next time what we're going to be reviewing in this uh, video is this one which is equally as exciting so this is Spell Tome Craft um, now this has been made by the modder Princess Meli or Meli. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but uh, yeah, this one is actually quite interesting. So uh, what this one does is it bestows five spell tome crafting altars in the Hall of Elements inside the College of Winterhold. So from these five altars, um, you can craft tomes for a wealth of existing spells as well as a variety of newly introduced ones. Um, and that's the thing that's actually going to be quite interesting. So I'm, I'm interested to see what uh, new uh, spells they've added in here. Um, and this is across the five magical schools of uh, destruction, conjuration, illusion, alteration and restoration. Um, and it says additionally a new merchant named Eloise Bridget is added to the college library and they can replenish your blank spell tomes for a very reasonable fee should your supply run low. So yeah you can basically from this uh, make yourself any uh, spell tome uh, you want from the existing library it seems like. So if you're missing a particular spell I'm assuming that maybe you can just make it using uh, these new spell tomes, uh, spell tome altars. Um, but yeah the fact that this introduces new uh, spells as well um, I th I'm interested to see what this uh, what this mod looks like so um, and we do have a few images down here as well so um, this is a conjuration spell conjure giant mud crab so that must be one of the new spells um, and it says we need four, uh, one blank conjuration tome four mud crab chitin and a greater soul gem to make that so that's actually not um, not that uh, extensive in terms of what you need which is good um, but there is, wow, look at all the ones there. I mean, most of those are already in the game. So just reading down that list. Bound Bow, Bound Dagger, Bound Sword, Command Daedra. Conjure Bear isn't one I'm familiar with. I'm not sure if that's a new one or not. It could That could be new. Um, but then below that you've got Conjure Mud Crab, Conjure Neck, Netch, Conjure Rabbit, Conjure Skeever. Uh, they might, I'm not actually familiar with them, they might all be, some of those be new ones, so. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have a look through the full list when we get into it. But then moving on to alteration. Uh, this one is feather. Carrying capacity is increased by 120 for 120 seconds. Okay. I wonder if these are actually uh, set, as in like the strength of them is set, or whether they change with uh with how strong your um you know your skills are within in, in these schools of magic i'm just going to assume it's going to be the latter but but yeah to make that one you need an alteration tome a centurion dynamo core four hard grade and feathers and a flawless diamond so that was actually a bit more a bit more a, a bit the ingredients sorry probably a little bit harder to get but i suppose once you've done it once you that's it then you're done I'm um, just reading down that list, so Spell Tome Alchemistry, that's definitely a new one. I can't see anything else there. Oh, Magicka Shield at the bottom, I think that must be new. Everything else there looks like it is pretty standard stuff. Maybe debil Debilitate, I don't, don't recognise that one. It could be some of these that I think are new and not new, it's just it's... I don't know, some of these, some of the schools of magic I don't use that often so I'm not that familiar with every spell 
especially since all the new anniversary edition ones came came out. Uh, they were in, within destruction. Uh, flame cloak. So that isn't actually a new one. I wonder why they've not shown something new there. But yeah, okay. So, so yeah, it does say there's going to be new stuff in every school, so there must be something in, in destruction. Uh, illusion, seductive gaze, caster haggles for 30% better prices for 30 seconds, and that requires a blank illusion tome, a gold diamond necklace, five vampire dust, and a flawless diamond. Fortify magicka, increases maximum magicka for 75 for 60 seconds. Actually, I didn't look at what other ones we've got on here, so I can't. What's on that list that isn't that is new? Grasp of Terror, maybe Heroism, that could be new. Shadow Heal, Shadow Shape, Shadow Soothing Touch, and then Restoration. That's a weird one, actually, looking at that because I've seen what it's seen what it. Um, you need to make it twelve hundred gold, fifteen red mountain flowers. <laughs> That's a bit random. Um, and then on that list, oh wow, Fortify Speed. Fortify Speed. I've actually heard of that because um, a, a long-time follower of the channel and uh, yeah, a friend of mine actually mentioned to me that this, uh, this uh, paid creation introduces a speed uh, spell. So I'm definitely interested to, ta to try that out. Um, and then finally, this is Eloise, the new NPC within... It looks like she's in the library there. Um, and then as you can see there, do you have any blank spell tomes? So yeah, so we can use her to basically pick those up. So, um, And this paid mod is available for 500 creation credits. So yeah, £5, $5.00 etc so yeah we're, we're gonna purchase this and yeah excited to try this one out right so here we are outside the college of winterhold and uh, first thing we're gonna do is try and locate this new npc who we can buy the uh, the tomes from blank tomes um, and yeah, we'll look at the what you learn here these new spell uh, altars where we can craft them. I'm going to guess that maybe they're going to be in there. But yeah, we'll look up in the Arcanium first. Because uh, that's where she was on that. Ah yeah, here she is. That's where she was on the uh, screenshot. What can I do for you? Eloise Bridget. Need something? Uh, I wonder what she sells actually as well. Take a look. <laughs> Her own belted tunic. Are you sure you want to give me that, madame? Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Blank alteration tomes, lots of them. And a few soul gems as well. So you can go, yeah, you can get these straight from just asking her what she's got for sale, but let's see what she says for these as well. Do you have any blank spell tomes? Of course. Uh, oh, <laughs> can I have one for free? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> but I don't have any money. Not my problem. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, let's try the other option. Do you have any blank spell tomes? Of course. Uh, okay, I will pay you for them. A little coin always greases the wheels. Uh. Ah, oh, so that's just okay. I wonder where that was going to take you to this uh, menu as well. Uh, do you have any advice for me? Want to improve your armor? Use the workbench. Make sure you have the right raw materials, such as iron or steel. Oh, I didn't know you were also an expert in uh, smithing, Eloise. Uh, do you have any other advice for me? Before you can enchant your weapon or armor, you'll need to learn an enchantment by sacrificing an enchanted item. Just use the arcane enchanter. Interesting, so she's also an encyclopedia of, uh, uh, yeah, Beginner's Guide to Skyrim, as well as a, yeah, a, a, a shopkeeper for blank spell tomes. So yeah, we'll buy all these because we have the gold for it. I if we've got the carry weight, but we'll see. No, you're carrying too much to run now. 
I wonder whether I can store them in here. How much? How over are we? No, we're not actually that over by that much. Let's just store some in here. In fact, maybe I could make one and use that. Uh, was it the spell tome of increased carry weight? We need one. We need that right now. Um, yeah, store some of these in here. We're going to get making. We good now? Yep, yeah, we are good. Right, let's go try and find the where these pillars, altars are. Be in here, yes. So we have the illusion altar. Conjuration. They're just gonna follow all the way around, aren't they? Yes. Right, where was the one that we didn't it didn't show us a example of? It was destruction, wasn't it? That's restoration. Is this one destruction? No, nope, alteration. Must be the middle one. Enchanting services here we go. One of the few oh, it's got some fire salts as well. Oh, bl oh, there's some blank ones here as well. That one says read. Oh, so you can take those. Okay, so there is, if you don't have to buy them, um, there are a few, it looks like, underneath as well. Which is good. Along with one alchemy ingredient. Oh, that's got a scroll under it. Okay, yeah, so you get a couple under each one. A Dwemer Gyro. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what this one does. Oh, so they light up when you get close to them. That's cool. wonder if they all do that. Okay, right, so we are actually going to... I'm going to have to try and get some ingredients here because we are missing... We're gonna be. We're not, we're not gonna have a lot of this, but uh, chain lighting isn't a new one. It's fire. I don't think fire blast is it either. It could be. I'm unsure on fire blast. Fire rune. Fireball. Fireball. Flame cloak. Flames. These. None of these are new. Frost cloak. Frost rune. Frost bite. Ice spike. Ice Storm, Icy Spear, Icy Wind, Incinerate, Lightning Bolt. Overheat, not sure on that. Shock Fingers, not sure on that one either. So Overheat, for 5 seconds opponents within 10 feet take 8 points of fire damage. Caster takes 8 points of fire damage. One of the few things shock fingers for six seconds opponents sky. within 10 feet take eight points of shock damage caster takes 12 points of shock damage interesting that these have got a yeah they do damage to the caster as well i think those two are new sparks isn't new thunder beam sounds like it's new lightning that does 60 points of shock damage to health and magicka per second Thunderbolt. I don't think Wall of Flames, Wall of Frost, and Wall of Storms are new. With the hands. For four seconds, opponents within ten feet take Ah, so that's that's the equivalent of Shock Fingers and Overheat. So I think those three are definitely new. With the hands. Shock fingers and overheat, and then the ones I'm unsure on. Fire blast might be new. As well, and I also think thunder beam is new. So those are the destruction ones. Let's have a look at some of the other schools. Conjuration. Banish Daedra. That's not new. Bound Battle Axe, Bound Bow, Bound Dagger, Bound Sword, Command Daedra, Conjure Bear, 
Conjure Dramora Lord, Conjure Familiar, Conjure Flame Atronach, Conjure Frost Atronach, Giant Mud Crab, Conjure Mud Crab, Conjure Netch, Conjure Rabbit, Conjure Skeever, Summons, uh, Summon Jumping Spider. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely a few new ones there. I'm interested to see Conjure Giant Mud Crab. <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a list of all of the spells in the game so I can check which ones are new and which ones are not. And, I'll, and then at least I can showcase the new ones. Now, what have we got that's new here? None of these are. Grasp of Terror could be new. Heroism, unsure, could be new. Uh, Muffle, Pacify, Rally Route, none of those are. Seductive Gaze is definitely new. Uh, spell Tome with Shadow, Caster is invisible for 60 seconds. Activating an object or attacking will break the spell. You move more quietly for 60 seconds. I think that's new. Shadow heal. Caster is invisible 15 seconds. Activating an object or attacking will break the spell. Heals the caster by 37 points. Shadow shape. Caster is invisible for 15 seconds. Activate an object or attacking will break the spell. You move more quietly for 15 seconds. So that's just a weaker version of that. Soothing touch. Creatures and people up to level 70 won't fight. And unrelenting range, creatures and people up to level 74 will attack anyone nearby. So I think those are all new. They just seem like more powerful versions. Up to level 70, up to level 74. And up to level 75. Uh, which is good, yeah. I think Ill Illusion was one of those areas that did need higher level versions of some of the spells. Because you, you reach a point where a lot of them, unless you like artificially boost your uh, illusion they don't always work which is always a bit annoying uh, alteration so alchemistry caster mixes 25% stronger potions for 90 seconds oh this is another one that I'd heard about um, that this this uh, yeah, paid mod introduced. This is really interesting because this is now another way of boosting alchemy. Um, so, yeah, anyone who's watched a lot of my content will know that I do use, I mean, I use alchemy in a lot of things, but it's a great way of uh, boosting basically any, any part of the game. Like, this is a cornerstone skill, and... Already within the game, there is a lot of ways that you can boost your alchemy. So, obviously, the most basic way is leveling your alchemy skill up to level 100 and getting all the perks. But, as well as that, um, you can use things like um, Necromage Vampirism, um, which this character that I'm playing at it does actually have Necromage Vampire already unlocked. There's... Uh, Azadil's armor set, which you get on Solstheim, so four pieces of that. You can boost your uh, enchanting with it, which in turn allows you to loop, uh, where you loop alteration and alchemy, and in turn make each one, as you loop it, each uh, skill gets more powerful. Um, and then there's things like the Bloodworm Helm, which was introduced in the Anniversary Edition, which does the same thing, that kind of Syn synchronizes with um, necromage vampirism, um, and then there's then there's like there's there's loads more as well. So there's like there's the Sallow Regent book, which gives you Seeker of um, Seeker of Sorcery. Is it Seeker of Sorcery or Seeker of Shadows? Seeker Seeker of Shadows. Sorry, um, that boosts your alchemy. Um, yeah, there's a little, and then obviously alchemy ingredients as well. Um, so things like uh, what's it called? Stoneflower petals, are the one that I often use, um, drug wax, um, those kind of things that boost your alchemy um, as well. So, 
yeah, I think that's going to be interesting to see how far we can push that. Yeah, that, that that I think that along with the speed ones are the two that are standing out at the minute um, as being probably quite ch game changing. Uh, debilitate targets that fail to resist are paralyzed for six seconds. Uh, unsure on that one whether that one's new or not. Detect life isn't. Detect undead isn't. Ebony flesh, equilibrium. They're not new. Feather. That's the new one. Carrying capacity is increased by 120 for 180 seconds. I need that in pretty much every save. <laughs> Immobilize. Caster is paralyzed for 22 seconds. So they're basically just... So, debilitate is like a weaker... Is that like a weaker version of what already exists in the game, which is Paralyze? It's weird that that one is the same value as... Or similar value as Debilitate, but Debilitate is like 6 seconds, whereas Paralyze is 15. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Immobilize is definitely an expert level skill. Caster is paralyzed for 22 seconds. Iron Flesh isn't new. Mage Light's not new. Magicka Shield. The caster is 50% of Magicka for 180 seconds. So that's new. Uh, Oak Flesh, Paralyzed, Stone Flesh, they're not new. Telekinesis, Transmute Mineral Oil, Water Breathing and Water Walking. So there's nothing else there that is new. Um, and then finally, Restoration. So what have we got here? Circle of Protection, Close Wounds, Cure Disease. Is Cure Disease new? I don't think we've had that. Cure Poison. I think those two might be new. Uh, fast Healing, Fortify Health is new. Fortify Magicka, Fortify Speed, Fortify Stamina. So all the, so those three increase maximum health for, 70, for 120 seconds by 75. That's only 60 seconds, and that's also 120 seconds. And then spell turn fortify speed, caster moves at 20% faster speed for 30 seconds. That's, re that's um, I did a guide on fortify speed, um, a build actually, uh, which used a, a weird quirk with one of the new fishing rings um, that boosts speed and you can basically increase it, artificially increase it using, uh, I think it's alteration, I can't remember now, it's been a while since I've been on that save, but yeah anyway I boosted speed like by a ridiculous amount so it's interesting that they've added this into the game now, a way of boosting it and obviously that's amazing for survival mode when you're doing a lot of walking having been able to increase your character speed is massive none of these are new oh, so nothing else there is new so basically what they've added in here is I'm pretty sure it is one, two, three, four and then possibly cure poison and cure disease as well um, so there's a fair bit to look at actually so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to need to gather a lot of ingredients in order to do get all these. But what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to look at a full list of all the spells that are currently exist in the game to work out which ones are definitely new and which ones are not. And then I will ju will just look at those, um, and then I'll re um, will reconvene in the video where I have got all the ingredients to make them all as well. So yeah, watch this space. Right, so we are back, um, and what I have been doing is um, I've gone through uh, the full list of everything that I mentioned um, and worked out which ones are the new ones, and um, I've also gathered uh, basically everything that we're going to need uh, to build them all, um, and it, it is quite extensive. So, uh, yeah, as you can see here, we have uh, quite a lot of ingredients. Not all of this, I think is going to be needed because some of this I had before but yeah most of this is basically what you need to build them all so obviously building them all in one go isn't what you're probably going to be doing if you are uh, if you purchase this and you're just going to do it while playing but yeah 
um, God bless the console commands for actually being able to get all of this. Uh, so yeah, starting off with the first uh, one, which is the illusion altar. So in this we have, I think it's eight, eight spells in total, which are uh, the new ones. So uh, first one, uh, which I think I said I did, I think what was going to be one of them because I didn't recognize the name of it is Grasp of Terror. Um, so yeah, we need yeah one Illusion Tome, one Cave Bear Pelt, two Ectoplasm, Bear Claws, two Flawless Ruby and four Honey to make this. So yeah, quite a random collection of uh, stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I'll run through the list and we'll, bet we'll make them all and then we'll uh, yeah start to go through and look at them. Um, the next one is Heroism. Um, and then we've got uh, Seductive Gaze. Um, and then it's basically all these five here. So Shadow, uh, Shadow Heal, Shadow Shape, uh, Soothing Touch, and then Unrelenting Rage. So there's eight in total there. Um, so we did have, thankfully I'd managed to get all the stuff we needed for those. So um, what I don't think I mentioned earlier as well is You'll obviously see like the materials required to make uh, these. I think the person who's made this mod has sort of paid some attention to when the player will probably be, probably be using them. So as an example, if I just go to destruction, I think it was this one that I was looking at earlier. Obviously, if you put if you if this is a new save, you're going to probably be more focused on like the novice stuff to begin with. So if we look at like overheat, for example. I'm going to assume that this is a novice level spell based on the value of 15 versus like, I don't know, Incinerate, which I think is, is expert, at 710. If you look at what you need to make that, one fire salt, one torch, like it's materials that you're probably going to have early on, whereas something like Thunderbeam as an example, which is quite clearly probably a master level, eight void salts and three flawless am amethyst. You're not going to have stuff like that maybe a bit later so i think there was one i saw earlier that was like you need a diamond necklace and yeah those aren't really materials you're going to get early on so i think at least it's yeah the all the mod author of this has at least paid some attention to probably what you'll need which i think is good um obviously at the minute i've just grabbed absolutely everything but yeah i just thought it was worthwhile mentioning that so yeah in, in conjuration which is the second one we've got seven i think in here um, and these are, uh, where is it? I think I might have missed, miscounted, because I think Conjure Bear is definitely one of them, but we're, we're, I don't have one bear claw, so I'm just gonna get that now. And we'll just use uh, console commands to get that. So I can't actually remember what bear claws is, um, but let's just have a look, see if I can find it. It should hopefully show me what the yeah the ingredient number is there if you can see that on screen so basically to, this is what i used to basically gather everything earlier it took me about an hour but so if i do player add item and then type in that code there for bear claws and then just put a one that should hopefully give me one there we go bear claws added and now we can make that. So yeah, the first one here is bear, is conjure bear. Um, and then we've got giant mud crab, uh, mud crab, netch, rabbit, skeever, and jumping spider. Uh, so there's seven in total there, which we will have a look at. And um, then in destruction, we have six in total. <laughs> Uh, so here, um, it's a bit. It's, these ones are quite. Uh, uh, these ones are strange because it's uh, they like they go from novice all the way to I think it's like master level. I've messed this one up as well because I've I've clearly done something wrong with my counting here when I when I was doing it last night. But yeah, we're, we're missing some flawless rubies there. So um, we're going to look again. So if I look for help, flawless. It should show me what that is. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we'll do the same again. Uh, 
what is the code for that? 0, 0, 0, 6, 8, 5, 2, 2. We need a couple of them. Just in fact, I'm just going to do 10 just in case there's more that we need. So yeah, Fire Blast is the first one. And then we've also got... Icy Wind. Uh, overheat, Shock Fingers, Thunder Beam, and Wither Hands. So yeah, three that are Novice, which are Wither Hands... Shock fingers and over here. So we'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably look at those versus the novice level equivalents just to see how they kind of stand up. Um, and then yeah, these ones will obviously benchmark against something a little bit stronger. Um, and then moving on to number four, which is alteration, um, which has some of the interesting ones actually in this. Uh, so yeah, first one alchemistry or alchemistry. I think that's pronounced uh, debilitate uh, feather immobilize and magic a shield so yeah only five in there that i think are new um, and then finally into restoration uh, we've got i think there's six in here so cure disease pretty obvious cure poison Probably don't really need to show them. I mean, we'll we'll use them, but yeah, we don't really need to do any <laughs> proper showcasing. Um, and then yeah, fortify health again. Pretty obvious what that does. Uh, the magic aversion, stamina, and last but not least, the one that I'm most interested in, fortify speed. Uh, so yeah, there's there's quite a lot that you get with this. Some of them are do stand out. So the ones that's uh, that's really stand out for me are things like fortify speed. Uh, the alchemy one and probably maybe the the illusion ones as well i think are the ones i'm most interested in only because they look like significantly stronger than what you normally get uh, in the base game college is a bit of an uh, so yeah that has given us quite a lot of new tomes here um, which i'm gonna now read all and then we'll start to look at yeah testing some of these out Right, should we test some of these spells then? So the first school of magic we're going to look at is the Illusion School because these are the first eight spells that we made inside the college and I'm going to split these eight into three segments. So the first section we're going to look at covers Grasp of Terror, Heroism, uh, Soothing Touch and Unrelenting Rage. So these are like your Pacify, your Rally, your Rout um, as an example. Um, I'm going to go out and say it straight away. I think these are great spells. If you choose to download this mod and you use Illusion Magic, I think you're really going to benefit from these. Um, so, And that is comes down to the level cap that these work up to. So as you can see there on Grasp of Terror, creatures and people up to level 75 flee from combat for 60 seconds. Now that is significant and I like what the mod author has done here, um, which I'll explain shortly. Um, but if we just compare that to like Rout as an example, which is level 37, this one is over double what that gives you. Now mine has been boosted a little bit by two things, which again I'll show you as well. That is a significant jump and that is... I think that's going to make a huge difference for a lot of people. So, if I just quickly show you, um, on this save, I am a vampire. So that's one of the things that boosts your illusion skill. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that off using console commands. So that console command there, you can use that um, and it'll just remove uh, vampirism, um, just if you wanted to know. So just enter that. There we go, vampirism has gone. So let's just now have a look at what this is boosting by now. There you go, up to level 60. Um, and the other thing, like mo most people will see that because this is a master level spell, you're not going to be using this at a novice level. Um, but I'll just quickly show you as well what the base uh, of this um, spell is because I think it's worthwhile seeing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this illu my illusion skill back to level 15. 
by making that legendary. There we go. So that's now at its base. So as you can see there, creatures and people up to level 50 flee from combat for 60 seconds. So that's the base of this uh, spell. And it's the same for Soothing Touch. And it's the same for Unrelenting Rage as well. If we compare that to Rout, which is an expert spell, that's level 20. Uh, now I don't have on this save, I don't have Hysteria, which is the master, the current master um, spell in the game. But I know that that's base level is level 25. So what the mod off has done here is they have doubled the master spell to level 50. Now that might seem like quite a significant jump, probably too much. I think this is quite cool what they've done. And it, and it comes down to how illusion magic works in the game if you've used it. So I mentioned when I was in the college that my like main gripe with illusion magic is you get to this really high level and you use like the highest spells and you'll come across like a like a, a super high level bandit or like I don't know like something it's some enemy in the game and you'll use your illusion magic and they'll resist it and it's it's really frustrating when that happens. There are ways that you can boost your illusion. Um, so what you can do is you can you can boost it through alchemy by taking potions, or you can become a vampire as an example, and that might get you above that level cat that level of the enemy that you come across. But it always felt like the expert and the master level spells for me at least they were probably just a little bit too low because as you level with the game and get up to a super high level, like on this save I'm level sixty six enemies will be in the like level 50 and whatnot and you just didn't have enough enough illusion it, like it, the, the spells were not a high enough level to make to make enough difference you, you'd, you'd always find that you were being that they were being resisted against a lot of enemies so this just basically does away does away with that issue in the game the, the, the original game at least most enemies cap at level 50 now in the DLC, some cap at level 60, and I think guards cap at level 60, and then things like legendary dragons cap at level 75. Um, there is a few enemies that go above that, like I think Alduin is, goes up to like level 100 or something, and Mirat goes even higher. But yeah, what the, what the author of this mod has basically done is, is they've probably played with Illusion and gone, like if you're using master level spells, you should just work on everything. So, and that's what the, that's what these are going to do. I, I'm pretty confident if you use these, you, you're going to find that they're just they're just they're just not they're not going to be resisted. So I'm just going to load my save up again, um, just so we go back to the level that I was, which is yeah level 75, and we're going to have a look at some of these spells in action. Uh, now these bandits down here, they may have resisted these anyway, but. I'm just going to go out and call it. There is not a chance that they are going to resist these. They're just not. There we go. That one's landed. Let's calm that one down. Right, should we make them run away? There we go. Off she goes. Let's do this one as well. Should we do the horse? Yeah, you just you're going to have. A much easier time i think these these spells are more like quality of life spells if i'm honest and a lot of these spells in this list do feel like that um they, ju they just they're just going to make your, your player experience a little bit better i think um, and what's good as well about these normally with the master spells you can't dual cast them but these uh, you can if i just come on get it right there we go you can dual cast these, so that's going to be even more overpowered. So you probably might find you can um, frenzy and fear and calm. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe even I'll do it in Mirak. I don't know, but yeah. Overall, if I was to rank these spells, I would say that these four are probably four out of five. I would say I think most players are going to find use for them, and and they do they do a good job. I've not tested heroism, so I don't have a companion, but even that as an example, targets won't flee for 120 seconds, so it's been doubled uh, the usual 60 seconds on that spell. So you're just getting a little bit more more out of them, um, which is which is obviously very good. So yeah, I think these are definitely spells that I will be making use of for sure on my uh, illusion playthroughs. 
Uh, the next spell I'm going to look at um, in this section, and this is only going to cover one spell, um, and this one is Seductive Gaze. So this is the one that allows you to haggle for higher prices. Um, now, I'm, what I'm not going to do this time is I'm not going to bother taking like Vampirism off and reducing my speech skill. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, what this one does, because I think you kind of get the idea that other things kind of boost, uh, will boost the effectiveness of these. Uh, but if I right, just use this want. one as an example, I don't think I've selected it, have I now? So I'm just going to single cast it for now. So with a skill of 100 and uh, Necromage Vampirism, what this one does... Uh, caster haggles for 46% better prices for 45 seconds. So I'm going to dual cast this. And now we jump up to 103% better prices. So it's, it's, it's very significant. I don't think I'm going to rank this spell as high as the last ones though. I'm going to say this one's probably situational. Um, and I'll get onto that in a second. But I really wish for this spell. I, I wish that the author had made this a novice spell because it is currently expert so it's not one you're going to be using super early i think gold is carries more value earlier in the game where you've got more uses for it and you have less eventually as anyone knows who's played skyrim a lot on any save you reach a point where look at my gold there on this save and this isn't even that high i've got many saves a lot higher than this seventy-five thousand. There's not anything on this save that I need to buy. I just don't need it. So it be, kind of becomes a bit worthless. So at the point that you're probably going to be using this, for most players, I don't think this is going to be useful. The, the instances where I think you will use this are if you need to buy lots of the same item for leveling. So as an example, soul gems could be one. Yeah. And another use could be if you're needing to raise a lot of gold for buying training levels. Um, they're the only really the two reasons where I would think you would use this. Um, but I'm just going to show you the difference it makes um, because it is a lot. It does make it, well you've seen there it's over 100% better. So let's just talk to Belathor. Uh, now I do have a speech oh, skill of 100 but I don't have any perks in it. Um, but as an example, let's have a look. Uh, what's, what's he got that's expensive? There we go, Expert Robes of Alteration. So they would cost me 4,800 um, to buy them. Do come back. Let's just get this. Let's single cast it for now. So this should be, what was it, 40, was it 46%? Uh, yeah, 46%, let's just have a look. I need Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. 2,573, so already you've saved yourself a significant saving there. Remember, I'll Let's dual cast it. Does it drop? Know what Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah, has that worked? I don't know if that's worked or not. 103%. I'm just going to load because I'm wondering whether it's not... The maths hasn't caught up. I expected that to drop again unless there is a little bit of a bug I've encountered, but let's try it again. Yeah, so I don't have it, I don't have the skill there. I work for Bella. There we go, 103% better. I'd even take a look. Has he got the same robes? So, so oh, it's still showing the same amount. That is that is a little bit odd, that. I expected that to have dropped even more, so there's something weird going on there with the calculation, but yeah, either way, it, it, you, you're, you're going to save a significant amount of gold with this, I think. It does make quite a big difference. I mean, things like common soul gems, 52, I'm sure they normally cost well over 100, even with level 100 speech let's hope that he's got one again Every oh a bit of this and a bit of that common soldier oh yeah there common soldier 100 so yeah there's something weird going on with the mass x it's like it's almost dropping it to 
I'm just going to try again one last time. Do come back. Let's single cast this. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. What's that common soul gem showing now? 53. Remember, I'll give Dual cast it. You just let oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. This should fall lower. 52. Yeah, there's something weird going on with the maths there, but um, yeah, you say it's a significant saving. But yeah, I think at the point you're using this this uh, this spell, it's maybe coming a little bit later in the game. I think it might be more useful if it if you got it a bit earlier. But um, that's just my opinion. I think it's uh, it'll be use very useful in certain situations where you need to gather a lot of gold, mainly for training and uh, yeah, things if you're like leveling enchanting as an example and you need soul gems but other than that i don't think i'd probably use this but it's a nice to have for sure and the final uh, group of spells we're going to look at within the illusion tree are these three here so this is uh, shadow shadow heal and shadow shape and these are very good I, li I do like the look of these so what have you basically got here so shadow and shadow shape are effectively the same spell just one is a stronger version so what these are is this is really interesting actually because this is a combination of two current spells in the game and i, li I like this concept so what these are is the invisibility spell but doubled so rather than 30 seconds you get 60 it's also the muffle spell on top and that's the same for this so this one you're getting 60 seconds and 60 seconds shadow shape 15 and 15 so let's just have a look at those there we go there's the invisibility now look at the footsteps there you can see muffle as well and now I really like that of the idea of of combining two like spells that you might use quite regularly into one spell because again going back to playing with magic if you have a lot of spells and a lot of school of magic what you end up find is or what I find is I'm constantly doing this right I'll equip that one I'll equip that one right cast that cast my I don't know, my flesh spell right I've cast my flesh spell let's go back to my damage dealer and then you go then you go and you, you're fighting or whatever then you go right i need to heal so then i quit my heal and then you go and do some more and it's just it's just a bit immersion breaking i think so having a spell that combines two spells is just i just like that idea that that might not be a new thing like there might be loads of mods out there that do that i don't really play with mods so um, but i do I, I i can see myself using this one a lot um, obviously shadow um, shape uh, is it shadow shape yeah shadow shape is just a, a lower version so 15 seconds so um, what I'll do is I'm just going to remove again just to show you the cost difference uh, let's just remove this illusion spell yeah my circlet so if I go back to here so shadow costs 460 to use it Shadow Shape only costs 88 for me. So you're getting... It's a lot more accessible. So this, this I think, is probably what most people would use. And 15 seconds is ample time to cast it and uh, get away from something, I think. Um, it's definitely, definitely ample. I'm just seeing if there's an object around here that I can interact with. And then my current one will come off. Not, not any flowers or anything around here that I can pick. I thought there might be some flowers or something on some of these rocks that I could interact with. Oh, there we go. It's dropped off anyway. So, yeah, 15 seconds. Let's just cast this. I'm not going to dual cast it. You can overpower it, obviously, but it might be that I get like 18 seconds. I don't know because of my vampirism. But, yeah, if you're being chased by something... Let's just sprint. You're easily going to be able to get away here if you're in danger. Um, and that, it's a cool concept, this. I do like this spell. Oh, there you go. 
Uh, we've covered a quite bit, quite a significant bit of difference there. So I'm going to rank these really highly as well. And this is why I said I think I'm going to like the illusion skill, uh, the new mo uh, spells. Most of these are really good. Um, the last one, which we've not currently covered yet, which is Shadow Heal. Again, this is a combination of two spells. So this, I think this is even more useful. So this is a invisibility spell again, 15 seconds. And this one is a heal. So this is obviously if you're in you're in real danger and you do need to you do need to get away. Probably heal yourself as well. So uh, what this gives you for me is a 37 point heal uh, because of my magic skill and the vampirism. So how does that stack up? If we compare it in the restoration tree, it is about half of what fast healing is. So fast healing there for me is 75. Uh, healing is 15 points per second, so it's like a two and a half second heal if you're using just healing. So it's small, but it's it's good enough, I think. Um, it's a tidy little spell that. Real, really good. There you go, there you can see the heal. Invisibility of, and the heal. And I think you can dual cast this as well. Yes, you can. Yeah. So, overall, I'd probably rank seven out of those eight as very useful for most players. Um, the only one that is situational is the uh, haggling one, but yeah, it's still a, it's still a nice to have. So over, that that is a, it's a strong start from the illusion skill tree for sure. Right, we're back here again. So the second group of magic uh, we're going to look at is destruction. Let's get straight in there and yeah, start doing some damage. So I actually made a mistake up in the College of Winterhold. So I looked at the cost of the uh, the 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 books to make the the tomes. Sorry. And I compared them to things like flames because I assumed that the cost of these was was would have made them a novice. Um, that's not actually what they are. So uh, overheat uh, is an adept spell, as is shock fingers and wither hands. So and what these are is these are actually equivalents, or I think they're supposed to be equivalents of lightning cloak. Uh, frost cloak and flame cloak so um, and I don't actually I did have a quick play of these earlier and I think there's an issue with them which I'm just going to go out and say straight say straight away uh, what I'm going to do actually just so you can see the difference is what's my difficulty on let's just drop the difficulty right down to the base just so you can see the difference I don't think these work properly which is a real shame it could just be me if I just, uh, let's go into illusion actually and get rid of all these because we don't need these anymore. Don't, these, don't need these favorited. Let's go to destruction and do flame cloak, frost cloak, lightning cloak, overheat, shock fingers and wither hands. So let's start off with, let's start off with overheat, okay? Right, so what this is supposed to do, and it does damage to you as well, so I expected this to be better than Flame Cloak. Yep. There we go. There's not actually anything happening here. Like, where's the damage? Where's the damage to them? There's damage to me. There's, da there's damage to me happening. But where is the damage to the bandit marauders? It actually says... For 5 seconds opponents within 10 feet can take 8 points of fire damage, caster takes 8 points. It's not actually doing anything. There you go, There's you heard the damage to me. There's nothing happening to them. At all. And just so we're covering all bases... Let's try with the hands. Yeah, no damage. Right. Let's go to Flame Cloak. 
There we go, look at the health of that bandit marauder now. Let's try frost. Getting a bit of a kick in here, even on novice, because we've got no, uh, no armor. There you can see, damage going down. They must be annoyed because that's not going drip falling as uh, as much. Uh, but yeah, let's go to Lightning Cloak. There we go. And the down. So yeah, real shame that these don't actually work. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill him with uh, the 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 slow the slow death. But yeah, I just yeah I I don't know. Maybe maybe there will be a maybe there'll be an update that'll cover that'll fix this. But yeah, for the minute, unless it's just me, I uh, I don't think they're working properly, which is a real shame. Uh, but I'm gonna reload and we're gonna look at the next three which are much much better and much more exciting so these three and um, i'm just gonna let's just knock this back up i don't need to probably put it too high but the next three uh, i'm gonna have to get rid of this illusion magic again let's go to destruction so the next three are where are they? Fire Blast. Um, I'm going to compare this to like Incinerate. It's not quite as high, but I don't actually have the master levels on ones on here. Uh, Icy Wind, which is a new one. We're going to compare that to uh, like Icy Spear. Um, and then we're going to compare Thunderbolt. Is it Thunderbolt? Yeah. Which is the expert one to Thunderbeam, which is the new one. Uh, the new master level. So... These are really cool, really, really cool. Now let's start off with Incinerate. So a blaster fire that does 70 points of damage, targets on fire, take extra damage. So, you kind of see the damage that this did there in one hit on a debt. I'm not doing well with my aim in here, but let's just dual cast one. There we go, we finally hit him. Yeah. They're down. Yeah, you kind of see the damage output there of the expert spell. Let's just have a look at what the new version does. I should have saved after I'd... Uh, it <laughs> refavorited everything but yeah let's go to where is it what's it called fire blast a fire explosion for 90 points and look at that it, they've basically taken i think is it the same is it the same graphic as the master level i think it might be when you fire it, you can kind of see it sort of flails out and then explodes. Yeah, but yeah, damage output's higher, and you can also see it's got a bit of the burn effect on it. And unlike the master level uh, spells normally, you can dual cast this to make it even stronger, which is just going to blow anything to pieces. So these are. Obviously, yeah, master level spells. So, they're going to take some... You're going to need a level of uh, magic or cost reduction to be using them, firing them a lot like I was. So, I just take off my... Where is it? The robes. Yeah, 320 to fire one versus... What's incinerate at? 159. So, yeah, it's like double, isn't it? Um... But yeah, if you can get yourself some gear that reduces your cost significantly, doesn't need obviously need to be zero. This is a. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with these spells because it's basically just 
you're just blowing stuff up, aren't you? Look at that horse all the way from up here. <laughs> Can't tell if we sent it flying there. No, it's, it's still standing. I think this the second one missed. Let's uh, let's get after him. Yeah, we'll have a look at the ice versions as well in this in this the storm. Where's he gone? <laughs> Did I knock it flying down the hill? Where is it? Got some mooses here as well. Yeah, <laughs> you can see there. Yeah, you can have you don't you, you'll have a lot of fun with these. I think they kind of just do what they say on the tin, really. Lots of damage, lots of explosions, lots of fire, uh, lots of fun. And then the ice uh, versions of these, so. I never normally liked Icy Spear, because like you've just seen there, I'm not a great shot with magic. But you have to be really... Uh, you have to be really accurate with Icy Spear. Like, it doesn't have an area of effect, which I generally need on my spells. Icy Wind, you don't have that problem. It's basically like the Master version, the same, uh, the same effect. So, I don't want to hit that guard, but... Oh, we did hit the guard. Guard is now dead. Last witness killed. Uh, so as you saw there, as well as the damage and everything else, we also get the paralysis, which is nice. Um, and we can dual cast this one as well, which is even better. So he stops moving. There we go. Look at that. Sat him down, and he's dead. As you were still up. Not up anymore. Silly bandit. Uh, you get the idea anyway, but just so we're covering all bases, let's look at the fabulously named Thunderbeam. Um, we'll compare it to a Thunderbolt actually as well. That's his Thunderbolt. Let's get Thunderbeam. And this, you can hold this one down. Yeah. Who doesn't love significant amount of lightning coming out of your fingertips. Feel like Emperor Palpatine with this. You must die. I don't know if it's as strong as the most broken magic in the game, um, which was added in in the AE uh, anniversary edition spells, which was Unbounded Flames, Unbounded Freezing, and Unbounded Storms. Unbounded Storms, if you can get magic across to zero, is the most busted spell in the entire game because it kills everything around you because you can dual cast it it doesn't look like much in fact did i no i didn't dual cast it yeah this is what happens if you dual cast it you just hold your hands out like that it doesn't look like much but everything around you dies let's just get into i based my bruce the battle mage around this skill and it's to the day probably one of my most popular builds. This build, you know, this skill is just ridiculous. Like everything just dies. So I don't, I'm not going to say it's as powerful as that. But you're still going to have a lot of fun with these for sure. You just need to be a little bit more accurate rather than just holding a button down and killing everything at will. Yeah, still, still very good spells. So, um, if I was to rank this school of magic, I would. I'm going to have to put the, the first three as one out of five because for me they don't even work. But 
Uh, the next three, I'm gonna say four out of five again. Most people will have, yeah, significant fun with these. Just generally probably being slightly unhinged and maybe needing to speak to a uh, doctor or a psychiatrist at some point if you carry on playing like this, but. Right, the next school we're gonna look at is Conjuration. Now, the Conjuration skills, uh, 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 I think there were seven in total. I'm just gonna get rid of these and I'm gonna save this time. Uh, so there's, I think we cover, we've got here Conjure Bear, Conjure Giant Mud Crab, Conjure Jumping Spider, Conjure Mud Crab, Conjure Netch, Conjure Rabbit. Skeever one as well, I can't remember. Maybe Skeever is one. I don't think Skeever's one. How many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe Skeever is one. Let's just double check this if there's any more. No, I think that's all of them. So these, uh, there's nothing surprising with these at all. Uh, let's start off with the bear. So because I have. Uh, conjuration level 100 and I have unlocked this I can have two but normally if you've not got that you can only have one of these so I mean it does exactly what it says on the tin you get a bear to do your bidding for you and attack these marauders so if I was to cast another one now uh, Go on, cast it. There we go. That one disappears. And that bandit is about to go down, it looks like. So they're not they're not super strong. Well this one's not at least. So the bear is the bear is in a depth level spell. You can see them slowly taking down that bandit marauder. Let's just try the giant mud crab, which uh, the mud crab is. The mud crab is also an adept. So I'm expecting this to be a similar sort of level. No, so they're not. They're not like. They're not giant, are they? The. I won't say they're giant. I say that's a normal mud crab size. I was expecting the other enormous one, but yeah, there's nothing surprising with them. Let's just do let's just do the mud crab. I think the mud crab is apprentice, so yeah, a little bit lower level. So they're a bit weaker. <laughs> okay, little mud crab's chasing after him. Oh, he's killed one already. Yeah, see they're dead already, so they're they're about as useful as a chocolate fire guard. Let's try jumping spider, these are expert. Go on, jumping spiders, jump at him. He's choosing to spit at him and not, uh, not jump. I'm going to kill him though. He's poisoned. Yeah, there we go. They've killed him. So they are. They're all right. I think that the 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 mud crabs were a bit useless, um, but then as well as them. We've also got Netch, Rabbit and Skeever. So Rabbit and Skeever are novice level. So they're probably going to be not that useful either. Let's just see if we can find any more enemies as we wander around. I forgot to save, didn't I? Actually, I was going to save um, and then I could have just not had to favour everything again. I do know what is down here though. There is... Oh. Saber cat, here we go. Let's get our skeever and our rabbit in. <laughs> He's dead already. Right, let's try the netches. I think the netch must be. Where is it? Ah, oh, the netch is master. So that is. Uh, they must cost quite a lot. I'll have a look at that shortly, but. Yeah. Wow. Wow, they really they took that uh, saber cat down very quickly. So they are actually quite strong. 
let's just remove our gear that is making us making conjuration cost nothing let's just compare yeah so rabbit and skeever 28 uh, is that like similar to like a, a wolf yeah I'd probably say Conjure Familiar is going to be stronger. A wolf is stronger than than a rabbit or a skeever. They're, they're not really going to be useful in battle, I don't think. Uh, Mud Crab is Apprentice. Adept uh, is your giant Mud Crab. And your Bear. Bear costs a little bit more. So how does that compare to like a Flame? The Flame Atronach is 80. Which is a little bit... Uh, less than a mud crab. So yeah, again, flame Atronach is far more useful than what that mud crab gave you. Uh, Frost Atronach is 115. It's probably, well, it's it's half the cost of a conjure bear, and it's probably stronger as well. Uh, the jumping spiders were okay, but I'd probably say again, your storm Atronach is definitely stronger, and it costs less, so... And nets costs a lot. It's it's likely that these things are quite strong, but yeah, if I was to rank these, um, I'm probably going to put these. So, what I didn't actually give a, a a number to that the situational one, did I? The one that improves your haggling price. I'd probably say that's a three out of five. Everything else in illusion was a four out of five. Um, the three. The good spells in Destruction were a 4 out of 5. I'd probably put most of these as a 2. The the, the funny to it to uh, summon some of them, but in terms of actually useful, they are not. Uh, so I'm just going to see how these stack up against a giant. They're actually taking this giant down. One of them's fallen, but the giant's gone. So maybe two, maybe maybe two across the board is a bit unfair. I'm going to rank the. What I'm going to say is, rabbit and skeever are pretty useless. They can be a one. Mud crab can be a one. Giant mud crab can be a two. The jumping spiders I'd probably give like a two. Uh, Sorry, they're a 1. I'd probably give the Jumping Spider like a 2. Maybe the Bear like a 2 or a 3. And the Conjure Netches can probably be a 3 out of 5. I don't think these will replace just using a standard Atronach, to be honest. Or other things you can conjure already in the game. Um, so, yeah. Nice to have, but certainly not game changing. Looks like they're very slowly off to kill this other giant. <laughs> Look at them circling. Giant's like thinking, no, I'm not having a... I'm not having that. I've just seen you take my pal down. But yeah, anyway, we'll move on to the next school of magic. Yeah, so the fourth school we're going to look at is the restoration school. So within here... Um, we have uh, Cure Disease, Cure Poison, uh, Fortify Health, Fortify Magic, uh, Fortify Speed. So, five in total. I think, I'm just going to double check off, oh, sorry, Fortify Stamina, yeah, sorry, six in total. So, um, first off, let's just look at Cure Disease and Cure Poison. So, um, these... Yeah, I mean, these are going to do what they say on the tin. So what I'm going to have to do is... I think first of all, in fact, let's let's set all this up. Let's favourite all these, because I forgot to do this last time, and then save. Let's take these off, because we don't need these anymore. Right, let's save there. What I'm going to do is let's remove vampirism for a start because we can't get diseases as a vampire there we go right we should be able to get diseases um, what I'm going to do is let's just try K 
cannot remember how you do this. I think it's player dot place at me to spawn something to you. Now a chorus is I think that's a code for a chorus. Ah, yeah, there we go. Three choruses. Right, let's see if they'll poison me. Don't think we've been poisoned there, have we? That health falling a little bit. I think our health is falling a little bit there. I just can't see it because my health's probably quite high. Yeah, I mean, look how high my health bar is. Let's just see it again. Yeah, it is. I think I think I am being poisoned there, but it's because it's so ridiculously high on this save. What's it now? 450. Let's just reload and do that again. I just want to see the poison in action falling. If you've not already guessed, I'm doing all this live. All this is being shot in one take at the minute. So I could probably polish this up, but I wanted to you to see me more or less doing this first hand as well and giving my like first honest opinion on these. Some of them I have tried, some of them I'm seeing completely new for the first time. So let's just try this again. Right, come on, attack me. Let's just check in here. I shouldn't have vampirism anymore. No, yeah, there's nothing there that's saying I resist poison or resist uh, diseases. Yeah, there you go. You can see my health is dropping ever so slowly there. Up to a point after they hit. So all this, this one is going to do is where is it cure poison it's just going to stop those effects so i don't think this is a nice to have don't get me wrong it's nice that you can that you can cast it um i'm going to say i'm probably going to rank this as situational at best maybe even a little bit less maybe 2 out of 5 because i see this being useful if you're in Falmer dungeons, for a start, where you've got lots of chorus, lots of Falmers, all with poison swords, and poisons can stack. Um, the issue is, is it's a master level spell. That is a problem for me. I think you need to make this a bit, bit, a bit less, a bit lower for people. Uh, I just can't see me really using this because normally, once I've reached that point, poison is not really a problem for me, at least. It's just not normally a problem. If you're playing, for me, poison is normally an issue early on where I'm, I've cranked the difficulty up quite high probably and I go into a Falmer dungeon and I get wrecked. Um, you get a couple of hits from Fal uh, swings from a Falmer sword that's poisoned and suddenly in your health just dwindles ridiculously low. Like a couple of Chorus Hunters or uh, Fledglings and you find yourself, you, you can be dead within seconds It'll be useful then. Other than that, I probably wouldn't really use this. Um, it's probably a similar position to disease, to be honest. Um, I think there was a... Yeah, let's just go over to that saber cat over there. Let's get our gear back on. For a start, don't we run around naked. Right, let's see if we can get attacked by this saber cat and then we can cure a disease I, I, I'm doing this I, I, the reason why I'm doing this is I know these I know exactly what this is going to do if it works um, that's the main thing I just want to check if it works because we've already had three spells in this video which don't work haven't worked properly um, so I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, 
bypassing this and it doesn't actually work. Where is that saber cat gone? I saw him running off. Now I can't find where he's gone. He's probably chasing after something. If push comes to shove, I'll uh, I can spawn one to me. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just reload. We'll go find him before he runs away. All right, let's try that again. Let's just check I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not naked. I oh, I'm still a vampire. Was that the problem? Is that why it didn't work? Let's just remove the vampirism. I'm wondering if that's why the cat it wasn't giving me his rabies. Let's just try that. Cure disease. Alright, come on kitty kitty. Give me your fleas. Come on. You know you want to. Please don't tell me you're the only clean cat in a, in Skyrim. So what I'm going to do as well is let's just get some uh, wolves into the mix as well. I think wolves can give you a disease, can't they? This is the problem with trying to test things. I want something to appear. It's not going to play ball, is it? Come on, wolves. Give me a... I don't know. Joint pain, or whatever it is you, whatever it is you call it. Is it brown? Not brown rot. That's what the uh, the undead give you. Is it bone break fever or something like that? Can't remember. I shouldn't have now. Yeah, there's nothing there. I'm definitely not a vampire now. We're just not attracting any diseases. I might have to use console commands if it's not going to play ball. Um, right, let's just try. Yeah, I'm going to look up uh, how to... The console command for giving yourself Sanguinaire Vampiris. Right, just bear with me. Right, um, hopefully this works, I think it is, let's try that. Sanguinaire Vampiris added. Oh, we've con now it's done it. Now you've con contracted rock joint. Honestly. Skyrim is having my pants down. Right, let's see if this works. There we go. That's all we wanted to see. Uh, yeah, I, I expected that to happen. I just wanted to make sure we, did we weren't having another issue uh, as before. So, yeah, those work. Uh, Cure disease probably a little bit better for me than cure poison, but yeah, um, probably quite situational, I'd say. Um, I'd give that one a 3 out of 5, because I think that is definitely more useful. You get diseases a lot more, and that'll probably be useful on survival mode, but yeah. Um, let's move on to the more exciting ones within Restoration. Yeah, so the next ones are, in fact I need to load this save here. 
Uh, the next ones we're going to look at, and I'll look at all of these together because there's only really one that I am very interested in. So what we have here, Fortify Health, Fortify Magicka, Fortify Stamina. Um, these do, these are going to do what they say on the tin. I may get a little bit more from my Vampirism, but as an example, my sta well, my stamina is quite low because it's actually night, it's uh, daytime. So let's just fast forward a bit uh, to see what it normally is. There we go, 140, completely not boosted. Uh, let's just try fortify stamina. See what it does. 233. Three. So yeah, uh, I am getting a boost there for my uh, vampirism. And probably Necromage Vampire Vampire is making a difference here uh, with this. All spells, spells are more effective against the undead. Uh, but then let's try... Is that the Magicka one? Yeah, look at that, 916 now. Um, and my health, which is already high, it's 850. Is now 943, so yeah. Uh, good boosts there. Again, could the mod author have maybe lowered the amount that you get, but not made them a master spell? I don't know. Uh, that could just be my opinion. Um, I think maybe I'd probably be erring on the side of maybe yes, make them a bit more accessible for other players. But um, if I just take off my... Where is it? Necklace that reduces restoration to zero. You can see there, it's quite high. So maybe these are useful for a warrior type who you only maybe you don't use a lot of magic. You've got a really difficult fight coming up or you're a mage, you've got a really difficult fight coming up. You're going to use these in preparation for those big fights, aren't you? So I think I'm going to say, I'm going to rank them, providing you can get yourself to the level where you can use them. I'm going to say these are a 4 out of 5 because more health, more stamina, more speed, more magicka is always going to be useful. Um, the only way one of them is not useful is if you get to my level on this save where all your magicka is free, uh, which renders that one useless for me, but health and stamina certainly would be more useful for me but yeah overall i think those are good and um, the one that i think is really interested and potentially a game changer is fortify speed so i did uh, on the channel probably quite a while ago now i did a video a build called the speeds to build which i'm just going to show on the screen now um, and i'll post the link below um really interesting build that probably the most unique one i've ever done um, and it makes use of a very strange quirk with one of the new uh, rings that you get as part of the fishing add-on. I think it's called the Ring of the Wind. When you can... Uh, the Ring of the Wind increases your speed by 15%, I think it is. But you can boost it with Illusion Magic. When you boost it with Illusion Magic, you can loop it. So looping is a process where you, you like, take a... Take a potion, um, make some gear as an example, make another potion, equip the gear that you've made, take that potion, and then you kind of, your skills, um, you, you can, you the increase each time, each time around you loop it, and that's what happens with this ring. Uh, so I got the, I ended up getting my speed to a crazy, crazy high amount. I mean, I actually nearly broke the game because I, I used the resto glitch to, to get it super high but yeah um, check out that video by all means i think this is an awesome awesome spell to have because there's not many things in the game which boost your speed these rings are these rings even maybe the first things in them first artifacts this is going to be so so good for a lot of people so i, I mean i'm a high elf here so my run speed is better than most of the races but if i single cast this as a necromage vampire what i now get is 25 percent boost 
So it's noticeably quicker, I think. Uh, what I'm just going to demonstrate, uh, what I will demonstrate shortly is uh, I'll run a character side by side and you can kind of see the difference. But I can, I can tell the difference there. I, I, that is noticeably quicker, I think. Uh, what I'm going to do now is let's just dual cast it. Now I get a 55% boost for 45 seconds. Let's just have a look at this one. I mean, look at the speed I'm moving out there. That's walking speed. That's running speed. You, I'm running there probably faster than a horse. I'm probably running almost close to what the werewolf, what what you're running werewolf for. Maybe not quite as fast, but yeah, that is quick. That is good. That I mean, all players, every that is universal can make benefit of that. But I'm thinking survival mode. Survival mode, that is just... I mean, it goes back to the point of what. how do you want to play? Do you want the challenge of survival mode? In which case you may not want additional speed. But I just... Yeah, it's just... No one's going to complain about getting from A to B quicker, are they? Really. So I'd rank this 5 out of 5. Let's just see if i still got the effect. No, the effect is now gone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just test. Uh, let's uh, run from here down to the Western Watchtower. In fact, we'll go from this bush here. So ready, set, go. And I'm going to do this. What you'll see on screen now is going side by side. And we're already at the Western Watchtower with the speed up. And I've not even made it before running out of stamina on the uh, yeah normal. And we're finally there now. And that is just mental. Like the it's, it's yeah I can't I cannot speak highly enough of how cool um, it is to have a spell that does that. And last but not least, we're going to look at the alteration school now. So within here, there are uh, probably the, 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 I've saved till last, the one that I'm most interested in. That'll probably make the most difference to me, certainly. Um, at least the way that I play uh, Skyrim, which is, tends to just be making ridiculous gear, um, it seems to be at the minute. But yeah, uh, within this uh, uh, the new spells within uh, alteration we have f only five but some of these are very good so yeah starting off with alchemistry where you basically mix stronger potions for 90 seconds and that's massive because there is a lot of a lot of things already in the game that you can boost your potion making with um, by looping again looping alchemy and enchanting together and I'll go on to this. I'm going to save this one till last. Because probably we're going to spend the most time on this skill. But yeah, Alchemistry is number one. Uh, we also have Debilitate. Targets that fail to resist are paralysed for six seconds. We have Feather. Carrying capacity is increased by 120 for 180 seconds. So, so useful for someone like me who cannot put things down. Uh, we have Immobilise, which... I think I read this one er wrong earlier. I think I read this as a stronger version of Paralyze, which in itself is a stronger version of Debilitate. Now that's true for Debilitate. I'm reading this one again and this is so weird. The caster is paralyzed for 22 seconds. There's only one thing I can think of as to why you would want to paralyze yourself, which I'll get onto shortly, but um, and then the fifth and final one is the caster at, at Magicka Shield where you resist magic. So, uh, starting off, let's just cover that one because I think that'll take the least amount of time. I'm not going to showcase this one in battle, but basically, cast it.
Where is it? Magic of Shield. So I get a 62% uh, increase there for 270 seconds. And like anything, we can dual cast it. And uh, there we go. It's boosted the time. Is that actually, if I do it again, does that boost the time even higher? No, it goes back to a single. So. Yeah, it doesn't boost the. Uh, amounts you get any higher it seems than 62% but you get a lot more time if you dual cast it which that is a that is a lot why why would this be useful if you're going into battle with a dragon priest or a dragon or anything that casts magic at a high level this is going to be super super useful for you and you don't even need to be a mage you could be a, a warrior that I don't know you you just you might just decide you know what i need that and it's going to help me get through a really significant really difficult fight uh, the only problem with it is and again it goes back to a lot of the, the problem with a lot of these is i think the cost of it is actually quite high i think it's high maybe i'm looking i was earlier when i was looking i was looking at the wrong skill but actually this isn't too bad 75 it, it was it must have been another one i was looking at that's actually reasonable um, I'm going to raise that again. I think that I'm going to put that as 4 out of 5. Maybe even 5 out of 5. Uh, no, actually no. We're going to keep it at 4 out of 5. Only because there are already a lot of ways in the game where you can uh, reach the magic resistance cap anyway. Um, so things like getting the lovers, um, completing the, love, the book of love quest in the uh in Riften, which gives you a plus 15 bonus uh, you've also got uh, where is it this in the alteration screen's tree so you can get 30 percent there um, and you've also got like the lord stone which gives you a 25 percent boost so um you can reach magicka uh uh damage reduction resistance sorry anyway so you may not need it but yeah for anyone else this could be a difference between you getting through a difficult fight and not doing and um, so i think that's a really cool spell um the next one i'm just going to very briefly cover is feather and for someone like me this is very useful now this is a master level skill which may rule it out for some people but uh, my carry weight at the minute is 320 Let's see what it is with a single cast. 470. Can we dual cast this one? Yes, we can. 650. I mean, yeah. How long does it last for on a dual cast? Where is it? Feather. 270 seconds. Yeah, I mean, this just... This would be such a game changer for me on so many different games. I'm thinking Fallout specifically. <laughs> I know you can't cast magic in Fallout, but maybe I need to download a mod that does because I am constantly over encumbered. Um, yeah, again, really, really useful uh, spell list. Do you remember at the start when I was showing these and I said I feel like a lot of these spells are quality of life spells? I hope you can kind of see what I was me getting at, getting at with that. Where they just seem to just the mod authors probably thought about a lot of problems in the game and gone, you know what? I'm going to create something, create some spells that fixes a lot of that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a uh, kudos from me at least. Um, but the next one we're going to look at is uh, where is it? Uh, alteration, sorry. Uh, we're going to look at Immobilize. In fact, no, we'll, we'll look at Debilitate first. Uh, this is basically just a weaker version of Paralyze. And if I take this off, you'll see the difference. So Paralyze costs 120 to Paralyze one target for, for, for 15 seconds. And it costs, yeah, 120. Debilitate costs 55. It's weird that this is an expert level skill for that. It really is odd. That's more like an apprentice, but 
I'll, again, I like this idea. It makes Paralyze more accessible early on for players, which is never a bad thing because the Paralyze spell is just hilarious. So this is Paralyze. See you later. This is Debilitate. So Debilitate should, he should, she should get up quicker than him. Yeah, there you go. Even though I cast it afterwards. Right, let's try you now with a Paralyze. <laughs> Look at the way she fell. And you with a Debilitate. And now he's going to get up earlier. There you go. Again, does exactly what it says in the tin. But I just... I love, I'll, honestly, I love this this um, spell so much. It, I, I, I use it so often because it's great. Like, if I've had a really bad day at work, just coming on and seeing the animation for people falling over, it's just, <laughs> it's just hilarious. Like... Does, any, does anyone know those goats that, like, if you scare them, they, like, go stiff and fall over? You may have seen, like, videos on it. They were doing the rounds on the internet years ago. This just reminds me of that. Like, they're just hilarious. The way they fall. Like, I'll never get tired of doing that to people. <laughs> so, yeah, this one for me is just... I might give this another five. We've only given one five so far. I think this is an I think this is an essential skill uh, spell for anyone. Everyone needs a bit of this in their life. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old, even after 13 years of doing it. Uh, the one that is a bit more weird is this one. So let's just look at this. How does this work? Don't have enough magic at ah yeah because I took this off right right I've just paralyzed myself like why on earth would that be useful uh, the only reason why I'm not going to give this a one out of five because I think this has got one very specific use sorry I'm just going to get rid of let's get rid of our tail. we go. Right, let's get ourselves down to... Where is it? Our stamina is low. Let's just... Can I wait an hour? Yeah, there we go. Right, I'm going to get myself down to this tower over here. Um, and we're just going to test this out. I'm not giving this, I'm not probably not going to give this any higher than a 2 or a 3, maybe a 3 if I'm feeling generous, because there is a, a weird, an, an annoyance with magic that, that means you cannot use it when falling. Uh, the only thing you can do while falling to save yourself from dying if, you, if you've fallen off a cliff is you can eat an ingredient with paralysis as the first Old effect and it'll save you. Sense. You won't die. But you can't shout. You cannot use, uh, what's it called? Um, the one where you go invisible. Be um, become ethereal. Um, and you cannot cast magic. So, let's just save here. Right. I'm going to jump off here now and I should die, I think. Neil, oh, nearly. I nearly died. Let's just do it again. Well, you get the idea. I, in fact, no, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's reload. Because I want to just want to prove the point I'm trying to make here. Let's take off. This is the one that improves my health a ridiculous amount, this one here. Let's take this ring off. Right. Let's dive now. No. There we go. I've fallen off a cliff and I'm dead. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't want to do it, but I've died. Oh. If I try and if I accidentally fall off something, watch what happens to my hands now. I can't cast. Yeah. See my hands disappeared. 
And that is a problem. That's why I'm not giving it a, a, a higher rank. But what you could do, the only thing I can think of, and you say in the comments if you can think of more uses than this. But let's say I want to get down there and I can't be bothered to walk. What I can do is I can go, you know what? Let's paralyze me. There we go. When you're paralyzed, you cannot die from fall damage. And I've saved myself the hardship of having to walk down there. So, yeah. I have no idea anything else you could possibly need that for. Other than that. So I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to give that a 2. I'm not going to give it any higher. Um, I think that's just so, so, so niche. But, yeah. By all means, um... Let me know if I'm if I've can miss something very obvious, um, and that leads me to my final final spell, which is alchemistry, and this one is the one that's probably got the most application. Um, and in order to properly test this, let's get ourselves over to Dragon's Reach. Okay, so here we are in Dragon's Reach, and let's test and discuss the final you. spell within this list, which is Alchemistry. So, why do I think this spell um, is going to be so important? Um, well, it comes down to, uh, well, one thing mainly for me at least, and that is um, enchanting an and alchemy looping. Oh, Farangar, give it a rest, please. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Alchemy and enchanting looping. So, um, if you're unfamiliar with what that is, that is the process of uh, drinking an enchanting potion, um, making yourself fortify alchemy gear, equipping that fortify alchemy gear, and making yourself an enchanting potion. Um, you then drink that enchanting potion, and then you make yourself some more fortify alchemy gear, which is the second time around more powerful than the first. You then equip the more powerful version and then you make yourself another enchanting potion and so on. And that is how, without using any sort of weird exploits and quirks, I guess it is a, it, it, it is a quirk of the game, but you're not, um, yeah, you're not, I don't think you're doing anything you shouldn't be doing anyway, but that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, that is how you create uh, ridiculous equipment that has uh, stats like this which is which is way above anything you can get in the game so you can see here on the save I've already I've already done it and that isn't even that high so I've got gloves there that uh, make potions 91% more powerful um, I have got a necklace there that does the same uh, I've got a hood there that does the same and I've got a ring so I've already done it on this save and that is how I've made things like these robes which reduce destruction and conjuration spells to zero. Um, it's how I've got a ring that increases my health by 320 points and regenerates health 160% faster. So um, what that does then in turn is that unlocks the ability to just crank the difficulty up and play on like legendary difficulty and you'll, you'll still have a challenge with some enemies but by and large you'll probably breeze your way through the game. Um, not everyone likes playing that way, but yeah, that is how you um, legitimately do it, I would say, without using things like the restoration glitch. Um, so in the game currently, there are already many ways that you can boost that looping ability. Um, so how you maximise it, um, first of all, is what you need to do is you need to get a alchemy skill of level 100 with at a minimum five po five perk points in the base uh, you want physician and you want benefactor uh, because what that's going to do there is your, your alchemy skill of level 100 is going to allow you to build better potions anyway but five perks in the base allow you to make them as twice as strong you then get um, a 25 percent boost there for health magic and stamina that's not as important the one you want to get to is this one here Potions you mix with beneficial effects have an additional 25% greater magnitude. So that is the perk that affects things like your alchemy, um, sorry, not your alchemy skill, your enchanting 
skill on armor that you make. So those are the ones you want as a minimum. What you also need as a minimum is enchanting level 100 as well. And again, you want five in the base and then you want skill enchantments. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry. I've, uh, you want skill enchantments here. Sorry, I, I mentioned that under the uh, potions. It's not, it's not under there. Sorry, yeah. The potions allows you to make a potion of enchanting, but it is... Um, this skill that allows you to put it on armor. Sorry, I got that the wrong way around. Um, you also need uh, this one here because what you want to do is you want to get up to extra effects and this allows you to put two enchantments on the same item. Um, what you also want to get if you want to push it further, and this is only personal preference by the way, you don't have to do this. This just allows you to increase those percentages even more. You want restoration level 100 but as a minimum, you want level 70 because you want to get Necromage. Um, and that is because to do this um, to its max, if you are min-maxing, you're going to want to become a vampire. Uh, because what Necromage does is it makes anything you cast against the undead. It's, it's makes everything you cast more effective against the undead. Now, I think Bethesda intended to for this to be used against uh, enemies but what the way that it works in the game is if you cast things on yourself you also get the benefit because you are undead so if you cast a spell that improves i don't know your ability with magic or your stamina or anything necromage boosts it and it's about i think it's about 20 percent um, and then as well as that if you go to solstein um, oh, I can't actually show you the map, but yeah, if you go to Solstheim, um, there is a uh, some items that you can gather there, which also boost your enchanting, and these are the Azadil's armor set here. Um, so there's seven pieces in total, but you only need to get four of them, um, and the reason being is this the boots are the only piece that actually mention this which is quite strange i always think but it says that if you wear any four relics of azadil's enchanting you get a plus 10. so if i just quickly show you now obviously as you've just seen enchanting is level 100. if i equip four pieces of this i'm not going to equip the helm because you don't want the helm and i'll get onto that later but if we equip a ring the gauntlets boots and the armor those are the four you really need. Now look what's happened here. So if I wasn't a vampire, this would be 110. And this is where the 20% comes in because what you get is you get an extra plus two. So you get an 112 enchanting skill. Now, obviously that means that when you're looping, you're going to be making better increments each time. So that is the third thing you need. You can also gather and this is where it starts to get crazy because there's so many ways already in the game you can boost this. If you gather the Bloodworm Helm, which you will find in uh, Mara's Eye Pond, and you can only do this, by the way, if you've got the Anniversary Edition. Um, that is one of the new Anniversary Edition pieces. So within Mara's Eye Pond, there is a, uh, a, a doorway that leads to somewhere called the Gallows Hall and you'll find it in there. Um, but what the Bloodworm Helm does, um, and it doesn't actually say it specifically there, but when you equip this, it, it, it boosts the looping basically, is how I'm going to describe it in layman's terms. I'm not going to get too much into the detail, but this, this synergizes well. So the reason why you don't want to wear the Helm with Azadil is because you want to equip that as well. And then you'll look incredibly stylish and impress your friends. I mean, yeah, you're not winning any style points here, are you? But yeah, this is how you would do it. As well as those, because we are not done, also on the island of Solstheim, you want to get hold of this book, The Sallow Regent. And the reason why is when you read that, you can pick one of three boosts. Um, and the way to do this properly, although I never do it normally because I'm a bit lazy, is flipping between the Seeker of Sorcery 
which as you can see there enchantments are 10 percent more powerful and then you would flick back to the seeker of shadows which does the same for potions what i tend to do is i just pick one and i just stay here and do it rather than um reading the book and going all and going back to, to repick um, but that's how you would do it what you also want to do is there are ingredients in the game like blue butterfly wing which improve your uh, which you need to make your enchanting potions when the rare curios add-on was added into skyrim and everyone got that for free so you didn't need anniversary edition for that everyone got the rare curios ingredients they introduced new ingredients like drug wax and stone flower petals and these have fortify enchanting on them but it's it's a greater increment so it's 1.25 in the multiplier rather than one so you get more out of them as well so you also, if you wanted to min-max it, you want them. Um, I could keep going on here. There's, a, there's another thing that I very rarely use as well called the Conjure Haunting Spell, which... Conjure Haunting Spirit, which I think when you use it, if someone else uh, kills the Conjure Haunting Spirit, what happens is, is the caster gets a portion of their... I think it's their enchanting or alchemy still or something but anyway you get a boost from that i don't use that personally myself um but you can use that as well to go even oh, higher I thought you were already um and then also i think this is the last one i don't think i've forgotten anything but a new paid mod was added in december 2023 called dwarven delves and what this uh, one of the locations in that game allowed you to gather something called the Mad Alchemist set. Um, now the Mad Alchemist set is useful because normally when you are enchanting your um, Fortify Alchemy gear you can only apply Fortify Alchemy to um, arm guards or armwear or gloves. Um, you can apply it to helmets, uh, you can apply it to necklaces and you can apply it to rings so you can apply it to those four items the mad alchemist set has potion uh, crafted potions of 15 percent better also on an armor piece and it also has it on footwear so that's unique so that gives you an extra 30 percent there so already you're probably thinking bloody hell like it, it's extensive so what this has done it's just given us an, another way of going even more crazy. Now, you might be thinking, well, I, you'd, I don't need it. Maybe this is a gateway skill, meaning you don't need to go as extensive in gathering all this. Because um, what you can do with that is you can dual cast it. So I think you're going to be able to get quite high anyway. And it may be that dual casting this means you can reach the same level of... of crafted equipment as I have but without the need to get be a vampire, without the need to get the bloodworm helm, without the need to get Azadil's armor set as an example, you might just be able to do it anyway, so it could just be it could just make achieving it easier or if you want to go crazy it allows you to go even crazier and if you don't want to do either of those things anyone in the game can benefit from mixing stronger potions whether you're a warrior, whether you play as a mage Maybe you want to increase your stamina through potions. Maybe you want to increase your sneak still. Maybe you want to be able to pickpocket better. It doesn't matter. Anyone can make use of this skill. Um, it's universal, universally helpful, I think. Um, and that's one of the kind of the big things I I always talk about when I when I get the chance to talk about alchemy. Um, I always try and push it because it's. I think a lot of players probably miss out and I certainly missed out in the early stages of playing Skyrim because I just didn't I didn't really have an interest in alchemy and I just I probably it, it unlocks so many abilities and I just didn't I just dipped my toes in the water and then never really tried it anymore and yeah it's um it was only later on that I discovered how powerful alchemy actually is so um what I'm going to do because I've probably monologued for long enough now is let's just do a little bit of testing just to show you how this would work so what I'm going to equip, 
I've already got my Azadil's armor set on. I've already got my Bloodworm Helm. So what we're going to do now is we are going to enchant. Uh, we're going to take an enchanting potion and we're going to make our first set of uh, alchemy gear. So let's just make sure I've actually got a potion to do this. Yes, I have. So we start off with an enchanter's elixir. So let's just go into first person. So what you do is take your elixir and then make sure you've got grand soul gems for this as well, by the way. So we go to our necklace. We'd go fortify alchemy because you need, you need to make sure you have that as well. Grand soul gem, make that. Next piece, fortify alchemy. Put that on a ring. Same again on your your arm guards. And then again on our helmet. Okay? So that is step one done. Oh. I what you do now is let's equip those pieces that I've just made. And I'm also going to equip my shoes and my vests. I want to make sure I actually remember everything here because there is a lot to remember. If you get all the stuff I've got here, it, it's it's it can be quite overwhelming. Um, I always recommend saving when every time you loot, uh, do a successful loot because you don't want to find that you mess it up. I've just noted there's daggers all over the floor. Those daggers will have been here from when I was leveling my enchanting skill. Gosh, that must have been such a long time ago. I wonder if there's loads in here as well. Yeah, look at this. I always do this whenever I use uh, this area to make, um, to boot, when I'm doing my, leveling my enchanting, and I just leave the daggers everywhere in Farangar's room. It's funny that they're still there. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, so, I've now equipped all my pieces, um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our alchemy lab, and we're going to select an item with fortify enchanting like that, and then use it with one of the two pieces, uh, one of the two ingredients which give you that 1.25 times multiplier, which is either drug wax, or you can do it with stone flower petals, it doesn't matter which one. There we go. Quit that. Now what I'm going to do here, because I've had a successful loop, I'm just going to quickly save. So now, we can just repeat that process. Now obviously you can, as I mentioned, if you want to go even higher, what you would do in between is you'd go and read the Teller Regent book and you'd get the 10% boost to Alchemy. But I've not done that because I'm, I'm lazy. Um, and I don't think you need it, really. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is equip our Bloodworm Helm. What's that? Azadil set. There we go. So that is now on. So let's go to our potions. And now you can see that's already 100%. So we started on 25%. So we've already quadrupled it. Take that. I'm going to go into oh, here. I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. I'm going to go again. Just loop it round. There we go. Easy as that. And then let's just keep going. So, go to our apparel. We're going to equip all this. What we're going to do is take that off. And we're going to go to our next piece now, which is 66%. We're going to go to our 66% necklace. Our 66% braces. And our 66% hide helmet. And we're also going to equip our shoes and our vest. Go into our alchemy lab. And I'm just going to show you, just to show you that you can do it either way. We're going to use a drug oh, wax this time. I you were all there we go. Now what you'll find every time you do this is your enchanting will, uh, the, the increments will get less. So we're at 140% now. Ready on. Wait so what you would do on. now is you would go over here and you would just carry on this process. But... We now have another spell we can use. 
So already you can see there. Uh, where is it? We're already getting quite crazily high. You can see how I hit. Uh, where is it? I hit 91% when I was doing it. So we're already at 66%. So it's probably likely, I think I did this maybe four times. I would have, I would have done this without the Mad Alchemist set because that didn't exist when I first did this. I think this save is back in... This might be about two years old, this save. But yeah, anyway, so... We now have another potion to use. And this is where I think this is going to get crazy. Like, it, this is going to probably make it shoot ridiculously high. So, uh, I've not equipped my pieces, actually. So, I'm going to save again. Just because it's good practice to do so. But now we're going to go back to our Bloodworm Helm. Back to our ring. Back to our Azadil's armor set. We're going to take our Ridiculous Potion. We're going to go into here. And we're just going to do the same thing. And what percentage are we getting now? 89%. So those uh, that Mad Alchemy set is already making a difference. Mad Alchemy set, sorry, is already making a difference. Because I will have done this, I think, four times and got to 91 we're at 89 and we're on the third loop. But what we can do now, after making our new set, we're now at 89%. So let's make sure we equip those. There we go. And we're also going to equip our 15% shoes and our 15% vest. Let's go into our magic get alchemy and we're going to dual cast this and let's see what this does where is it alchemistry cast a mix 31% stronger potions for 297 seconds so it, it it seems like maybe you get maybe it's been designed to not give you a huge boost to the strength but to the time Maybe they've done that deliberately to not make these super, super ridiculous, but yeah, either way, we're getting an extra. If I just single cast this, I wonder what happens. Let's wait for my alchemy to come back. Yeah, so you don't get a, you don't get a silly um, strength. The boost applies, the dual wield, dual, not dual wield, the dual casting boost applies to the time so yeah but yeah anyway what we'll do now is i'll just wait for this to come oh, back and i'm going to dual cast it again just to get the max yeah, i'm doing this this is my first attempt by the way i haven't tested this spell at all so what you're seeing now is me going for the first time but let's dual cast it double check that's worked yeah 31 percent. there we go so we go into our alchemy lab you know, let's just go straight into here. So get our butterfly wing, get our stone flower petals. There we go, 229%. So that's already given us a huge boost. Uh, you don't get any more boost by doing that, by the way. Those don't multiply together to get even higher. Um, so it's just a waste of materials if you do that. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. Give it a rest, Farangar, come on. Got important stuff to do here, man. I'm going to unequip all this nonsense. We don't need it. Straight back to the Bloodworm Helm. And Azadil's lovely armour. Uh, Farangar, no you don't. Shift off there. I'm using your table, thank you. Right. Take our enchanting potion. I wonder how high we can go now. 160% wow yeah this is uh, have I not selected something here yeah soul gem there we go yeah that is pretty mental we're only on loop 4 here we have got all, we could keep going and going and going and going so yeah I think you can probably see here what you can achieve 
with this spell and you could already achieve this anyway like you could get crazy gear anyway this just takes it to another level uh, or as i say maybe reduces the need to be so resource and time intensive because it does take a long time to gather everything here i mean you're not talking unless you use console commands to get all these in which point in which case if you're going to do that you may as well just boost your skills artificially anyway um, it takes a long time to get all this and to get all this it is it's a serious investment so um, this just probably speeds up the process so yeah that is why i think this skill um, is yeah a great uh, not skill sorry uh, why this spell is such a great spell um, because at the end when you've done all that uh, what you can do is then put on the enchantments you want onto your onto the gear that you want so yeah that is i'm not going to do any more than that really i think hopefully that gives an idea of why i think that spell is i'm ranking that five out of five i think that should go in the top tier um, and i hope you agree and i hope you have enjoyed this video so what i'm just going to quickly show on the screen now is every spell we've discussed and how i um rank them very briefly from uh, yeah my my time playing with them this evening so yeah i hope you agree with this list um, and if not yeah let me know your thoughts on which you think um should be different so yeah i'm gonna stop talking now i hope you enjoyed this video um, if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and like and um, that way you'll never miss any more um, of my content and i will see you on the channel next time